Okay guys, uh, we got a tutorial here on how to install Dwarf Fortress. A lot of people have been asking me how to do this, so I'll go ahead and do that now. Uh, we'll use Google to find Phobius Dwarf Fortress. Phobius is a texture pack used for Dwarf Fortress. It's not required, but I do recommend it. Um, if you don't like Phobius, there's dozens of other options out there, but uh, for the sake of this tutorial and following tutorials in the session, uh, it'll be all Phobius. So we'll go ahead and open the link here down to the forums, and we will get this post, and it's this link here that we want to use. When we open that, we will get this download now button. We'll go ahead and download that, and then be right back with uh, how to get that out of the uh, the RAR file for those of you that don't know how to do that. All right, so we're back, and Phobius is downloaded to our fortress. Go ahead and open that, take this, and extract it to our desktop. Just like that. Go ahead and minimize everybody, and open Dorbius, Forbius Dorf Fortress, and it is installed just that fast. You just gotta drop it on your desktop, and everything is up and running. Uh, we got some time left in the video, so we'll go ahead and go through the process of creating a world. We get this menu here, Dwarf Fortresses in development, so you know, bear with them as they fix bugs and stuff. Hit the escape key and set up your world. Uh, we'll go ahead and we have history, civilization, sites, beasts, savagery, and mineral occurrence, and world size at the very top, I'm sorry. And we have some menu options for that, so what we're going to do is center our view here. I leave the world size where it's at, and for this video, we're going to set everything else to low, and make things easy on ourselves. We're going to set the occurrence to high, and everything is set up, and we will hit Y for go. And we will get this. And you can see here that the game is developing features, and over here we can actually see our map as it grows. Uh, because it's such a short history, it's already finished developing the Earth and its uh, its stories. So we can hit Enter to accept. And we can start playing the world. Now, let's go back in there and take a look. Because if you remember, there was a lot of blue on that map. And I was uh, kind of in a rush. And I really didn't start my world on a... Ah, uh, there we go. Now there's now I'm on a gun that was tough. So this uh it's a little bit easier to start here because uh salt water is a problem. And as we can see we're already finished and it put us back down in the frost tundra, so we're gonna go north. I'm using the arrow keys to move. And we're gonna find a what looks like a promising starting area. Some mountains, some plains, some rivers. That looks good to me. And we're going to accept that. Okay. Start playing. And our first world was the water world. We're going to play region 2 because that's the one that had stuff in it. And we could talk about adventure and legends, but we're not going to. Uh, um, not right now. So we're going to go ahead and start Dwarf Fortress using Enter to do that and we're brought to this screen here. We're going to go ahead and in the next video discuss this and setting up your your team and uh, then we'll go on to details about how to set up your fortress.